Ooh, moving job here. Thanks. You kind of got your butt crawled back there, so uh, your leg is a tad bit crushed. Oh, great. Now I can't walk. If only I had wings, I could fly, be anywhere I go. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, would you like water? You already gave me some. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> Oops. Wait. Is something wrong? Your creosote. That's you. Wait, wait, is this like your house or something? Oh, yeah. You know who I am. Pyramid, armadillo, and a, well, basically the whole scorpion den told me. And brass. That's a long story. They all like broke out into song and stuff. It was really odd. You're that shorter than I thought you would be. Heh, <laughs> I was right. The royals do exaggerate everything. Of course. Maybe you should have never turned on me seeing it. What? How stupid could I be not to see it? You okay, dude? Yeah, yeah, it's whatever, so, uh, I'm assuming you know that I'm a terrible horror drawing who eats rats for dinner. Well, uh, I mean, they didn't say the nicest things, but, like... Then maybe you should, uh, go. What? There's no way I'm leaving. I flew all the way from the Sky Kingdom to come and see you, dude. I'm not leaving until I get an answer about, well, a lot of things. Okay, then. First of all, why are you working with Dust? I'm not working with him. I'm working for him. Same thing. Well, no, it's not the same, actually. If I were working with him, then we would be working together. I'm working for him. He knows what to do, and I do it. There's no saying no to him. Huh. That makes sense of all things considered. Secondly, why are you being so odd about all this? You brought me here, and as soon as I realized who you were, you started acting like you someone shoved your tail down your throat. I just, this wasn't how I expected meeting you going. Say what now? I'm a seer. I see the future. I knew you were coming here. I know why you're here. It's just, this isn't how we were supposed to meet, and I was supposed to find you first. But then you went to Pyramid and Armadillo, and I moved all the future spread out of control, and that still made to make sure Pyramid got killed, and I... Oh. If I made sure Pyramid sat there in a different spot, this wouldn't have happened. If I made sure Armadillo was still on a shopping, you wouldn't have met me. And I would have gotten there sooner. If Dust and I kept me waiting, they would have been there. Uh, you okay over there? Huh? Oh yeah, I'm... <clears throat> I'm okay. I had to clear my mind. I hate slow vision sometimes. Gotcha. So... I hate to bring this up right now, but you did just kind of confess to getting Pyramid killed. He's not dead. He will recover, and he will be okay for now. I made sure that he's sat next to the water pails. Do you mind explaining it all? Well, uh, long story short, Dust was pretty dead because he's the only one that supported the ring. Dust knew an anarchist was going to go for him tonight, so he asked me how the anarchist could kill him and get away with it. So I told him, and then we went to Pyramid and lied to him, telling him that he wouldn't die if he sat where he sat. But he nearly died, did die, and yeah. So you lied to Dust? Why? I thought you were working for him. It's not like I want to. I was forced to work for him. Just like how you got forced into fighting in the ring. Hold up. I thought you only knew about the future. How come you knew about my past? Let me explain.
sorry. I, I don't think I can do this. What do you mean? You studied the futures before we came. It'll be okay. What? If they get mad at me, but if they blame me for Pyramid getting hurt, it was all my fault. Creaso, that's why we're here. We need to expose Dust. I'm sorry, I just can't. Creaso, wait! What the? Super sarcastic. I try to call you every day. What?